Hello, I'm Kathleen and I'm welcoming you to Hiking with Kathleen. Now typically when I hike I'm not sitting in a vehicle but today Shannon and I are going on our first camping trip for the season. So in Ontario uh, pandemic restrictions started to loosen uh, about a week and a half ago and we had reservations uh, for a campground to, to actually go there for today and today is June 20th. So we are on our way there. We are in two separate vehicles because this campground is not too terribly far from where we live. And Shannon is driving her SUV because it's equipped with kayak racks. So she's bringing the kayaks. And then uh, we've got um, a bike rack that fits into her tow receiver, her hitch receiver. So she's gonna be able to bring the toys and I'm bringing um, our travel trailer uh, you know, behind me. So anyway, I think we have all of our gear and the great thing is like we only have you know within a couple of hours to, to get to the campground and then after we finish unpacking the fun begins because we'll be here for a week. So we invite you along to join us on this and you're going to have a chance to uh, see different trails, we'll be kayaking in different bodies of water and uh, probably do some cooking over the campfire, something we quite enjoy doing. So I'm glad you're here, please stick around. I'm getting pretty excited. We're getting very close. You can see we're in a pretty forested area um, where we're driving along on this area of the highway. So anyway, it won't be long now where we'll be pulling in so we can register, get over to our site, get all set up, and the adventure begins. First day at the campground. And this is me out here bird watching. I want you to get the full effect of what this means. I'm sitting inside the cat tent because Miss Miley was mewing and looking like she was ready to go back in the trailer where I was very happy to sit at that big person's table with my coffee. The cat always seems to win. Right? Anyway, hope you're enjoying your day. <laughs> How do you feel about your life as a kitty who goes camping? <clears throat> Thank you for sharing your tent with me. And your trailer. It's a lot more interesting out here, isn't it, kitty? Yeah. Going out for a little morning walk. We're very close to the Sabo River. I just want to have a look at the river in its undisturbed state before it starts getting busy around the campground.
love this coolish weather. Well, I'm out here uh, camping because it started off, it was only 9 degrees this morning. Perfect, 9 degrees Celsius. And I think our high today is supposed to be 18 degrees. It's going to be a lot hotter the rest of the week. But it's nice where you have to wear a jacket and the sky is nice and clear. The only day it was supposed to rain was yesterday and we got through that okay. Enjoy the sights and sounds. That's a Sora that we can hear with that sort of gargling sound that's across the way. It's a bird that has long legs, is shy, but you get to hear it almost all the time when you're down in a marsh, at least in southwestern Ontario. That sound. <laughs> That's the one.
having trouble keeping up. <laughs> Today is a little bit windy, and so uh, we're out here on the Asalvo River, Pinewood Park, and by staying closer to the shore, not only are we hoping to see more critters, but we're hoping that the wind will have a little bit less of an impact. So we have our kayaks today, as Shannon and I are going to head out for a paddle and stop for lunch somewhere. Pads are called fragrant lily pad. The yellow ones are called yellow lily pad. So we have fragrant for the white and yellow for the yellow color. It's not easy to paddle through here, but my hope was to find interesting things.
never see too many turtles. Okay, we found our lunch spot. We're going in for a landing. storage container. The one that we made into a waterproof storage container. And lo and behold, we're going to have some lunch here. Okay, nice and bone dry. So that's a nice thing to find out that that works. Now, granted, we didn't have any torrential rain or anything, but it seemed to work out just fine. I'll put mine on loosely because I'm going to use that to bring my scraps back. Okay, so we just finished lunch. We we're sitting on that dock over there that's behind me. And met a really nice couple from the Toronto area. So we were just uh, visiting with them. So we didn't do any footage during our lunch time. We were busy visiting. So, they went, we all four had Tillys on, and so, they told me about the Tilly Knot. Because there's a Tilly store, and the salesperson showed them how to do the Tilly Knot. So, the woman <laughs> took my Tilly and she said, here, I'll show you. And she did mine. So there's a Tilly Knot, so that you can just loosen and tighten your Tilly strap without having to, you know, undo your knot. So anyway, poor Shannon. She looked a little bit impressed, but I figure she'll be more impressed when she realizes that she needs to try and copy what I have. Because I don't know how she did it. I wasn't paying attention. I was putting my gear on when that woman helped me out. Anyway, so there's a tilly knot. If you're going to have a tilly, you may as well know how to do it. Good thing we have our, our bands, our straps on right now just because it's so windy out here. As much as we were getting blown around on the way down the river, going up river, we were really having to you know, uh, maintain our course because of the wind gusts. That's okay, it's certainly keeping us cool. Mm -hmm. 